Okay, so this is a video about parking distance control. I got a problem with mine. It said a short on number four. Um, and I only have the rear ones. Your parking distance control unit is behind here. And it's got two plugs, a white one there and a black one there. Uh, the wires I needed was in the white one, which is there and I tested for continuity from there to there to the uh, plug there and one wire had no continuity so obviously that's got a break so this won't work if you've got an intermittent problem like sometimes you get a wiring issue where it's not a full break so this test might not work for you but if it's a full break then this is going to work because you'll just not have continuity. But what you want to do then is probably trace back to about here, just before the bung goes out of the body, uh, probe there on the wire and probe the connector to make sure it's continuity there. Because you don't really want to bring a wire from here all the way to the connector unless you've actually got the pins you know then maybe you want to do that but if you haven't you basically want to um, check the continuity and then what you want to do on the outside uh, before you cut it is check right by the plug and probe down the wire um, near the bung if you haven't got continuity there come back closer to the wire until you've got continuity then after that nearest the plug cut the wire there so so you at least know you've cut the wire beyond the break so then you join your on your new wire and then you patch it in on wherever you want to patch it in after the break obviously i i mean to me i would just put the wire through the bung and then patch it on the inside so that um you've only got one connection outside that's well semi exposed um, what I'm going to do with mine is I'm going to uh, butt connect to the wires and I'm going to shrink wrap on them and I'm going to tape them over as well. That should be plenty. But you could solder them as well and shrink wrap. That would work. But it's entirely up to you whatever you've got. But I hope this helps someone because there was fuck all about this online. Everything was saying, oh, fix your sensors for free, blah, 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 and all this. How to test your sensors, which is no good if you've got a wiring fault, is it? So, there we go. I hope this helps someone. By the way, this is a 2006 E90.